Hello and welcome to this quick presentation on iLearn Reliability. The aim of iLearn Reliability is to help your team to transform your plant from reactive to reliable with comprehensive, unrestricted, computer-based training. Now, I just want to emphasize a couple of these points. Firstly, we're not trying to do it for you. We're trying to train you and equip everyone in the plant so that you can transform your plant from reactive to reliable. Now, I say reactive to reliable. Your plant may not be all that reactive right now. That's up to you where it is now, but you obviously want it to be more reliable. The point is it's far more sustainable if it's you taking care of your plant, maybe with bits of outside assistance, but if you're driving it because you have the training yourself, then it's going to be much more sustainable and much more successful for everyone involved. And we do that through comprehensive training, lots of topics, unrestricted, no user controls, everyone gains access, and it's all computer-based training, so you can take it as often as you like, uh, no restrictions. So let's just look at that a little bit in a bit more detail. Firstly, how do you make reliability a reality? You know, how are you going to go about making that transformation? How do you achieve company-wide buy-in? And one thing for absolutely sure, this isn't a technical challenge. It isn't about improving of skills here and uh, getting some training on root cause failure analysis there and, and doing those sorts of things. You have to have company-wide buy-in. You have to achieve culture change in order to make a plant more reliable. Sure, you can make little improvements here and there, absolutely, and they can all give you a great return on investment. But the, the sustainable uh, company-wide change to reliability involves everyone in the company. Um, how do you get everyone on the same page from senior managers so that they're driving it, so that they're providing the funding and the support and the guidance so that everyone knows they need to make this change all the way to the people on the plant floor who are working with the machines and on the machines. Everyone through that spectrum has to get uh, involved with reliability improvement, but how do you do that um, without some form of training? You you have to overcome the, the gap in knowledge that exists right now. You probably have some people that are you know, quite knowledgeable in reliability improvement, you know, in these various uh, uh, the tasks and the skills and so on, but probably a lot of people who are not. So you need a strategy. You know, people need to understand the benefits of all of this, but you have to have the skills to actually do it, and that's what I learn reliability is for. Um, but you know, without going too far into this particular topic, one approach that some people take is to get consultants in and say, okay, we'll pay you a lot, you come in and you take over this process and you find all the areas in our plant where we need to make improvements and you help us do that. And you can definitely see some improvements made in the plant when you take that approach. Of course it costs you a lot more to do it that way and the biggest problem of all is when those consultants leave, very often the whole program falls in a heap. Now, there may have been some improvements made, and some of those may be sustainable, but it's amazing when you look at plants that have gone through this sort of process. It doesn't take long for all the old mistakes to come back up, and um, you know all that investment and time spent and effort and everything else is kind of wasted, unfortunately. Um, and then... You know, if you agree that training is part of the solution, how do you do that in a cost-effective way? You know, everyone going off to training courses off-site is is incredibly expensive. Uh, even bringing people on-site to give you the amount of training you need is is also very expensive. And one of the big issues. You know, it's great when you're in a training course and you're listening to all the information the instructor is providing. Um, you're learning, and you're learning a certain amount. Hopefully a lot, you're learning a certain amount. But the question you have to ask is, what is your level of knowledge and the confidence in your ability to do these things? 
a week after the course and a month after the course and six months and two years after the course you know unless you repeat the training over and over it's very hard for it to settle in and sort of just become your common knowledge and common practice the other thing is that you know who missed out on the training do you get to train everyone even if you hold an on-site course you know who missed out because they're on holidays and vacation or they were ill or you employ new people you know there has to be an ongoing um, training effort so by having on-site uh, unrestricted e-learning that you can access any time that you can go through again and again that's the way to make sure everyone is trained even if they change positions or you have new people joining the organization that's the way you can achieve it the other thing you want to do is is do it in a structured manner make sure there is a real you know process involved a, a learning curve that's that's managed and everyone's on the same page if everyone's receiving the training from the same place there is a consistent message and a consistent theme and in particular if you have multiple sites then there's even greater benefits because then everyone at all the at all the sites at the same time are all being trained and all coming up to speed at the same time and everyone's speaking a common language so even if people move from one site to another it's all a common language if you get consultants involved or you have people come and train and, and work closely with you it can take a very long time to get all of the sites uh, up and going to the same level this way it's a simultaneous process so how do you make reliability a reality so what does I learn reliability do it provides training in a number of areas so it provides training in RCM and defect elimination and condition-based maintenance now just to quickly qualify when I say RCM I don't mean the really detailed RCM studies that seem to take up a lot of time and effort and sometimes don't produce anything but there is a definite theme to RCM and it is important it is important to improve the maintenance practices and to make sure your maintenance tasks are optimized and actually doing something of value for you um, well that's important and I learn reliability covers that I learn reliability covers defect elimination going out and understanding where the problems develop in the first place all those root causes but rather than necessarily having to study all your particular assets and determine what those root causes are there are so many root causes that are constant across all industry it doesn't matter what sort you know whether it's lubrication problems or problems with procurement or problems with the way the machines are operated they're very common problems and if you address those you'll have a lot of success in a in a relatively short period of time and last but certainly not least is condition based maintenance and I learn reliability provides training in all these areas we have this roadmap to reliability that lays it all out and, and now's not the time to go through this but you know it covers all the leadership and vision and the training and the human management parts the you know the RCM part and building this strategy and the defect elimination precision maintenance root cause failure analysis continuous improvement process so learn more about that separately uh, and defect elimination as I mentioned you know keeping things uh, out of the plant that aren't fit for your use making sure the maintenance and and so on is taken care of properly and how we operate the machine and care for the machine is all very important um, you can't do any of that unless you've gained the necessary skills there are skills related to working with the machines operating the machines uh, the condition monitoring technologies and the program management topics as well things like root cause failure analysis and uh, well many other topics the RCM the asset criticality ranking and so on now it's not to say that I learn reliability today covers absolutely everything that you could need but it covers an awful lot and we are working on adding more and because this is a subscription product you will get those extra modules without any additional charge you just keep the subscription going you keep getting those modules we cover an awful lot right now but there's there is more to come 
Um, lots of modules, the roadmap to reliability I mentioned briefly. So there's the strategy. Uh, we deal very carefully with change management. Unless you address that, it'll never work. The maintenance practices, understanding the criticality analysis, the importance of it and how to do it. Failure modes analysis, without going into huge detail there is a way to do it in a more streamlined way the reli reliability strategy in terms of you know runs of failure versus condition based versus interval based and, and so on root cause failure analysis and the management of the condition based maintenance program so they're all important modules that need to be taken care of there is lots of content in there that cover all of the condition monitoring uh, topics to one level or another and there are modules in there that deal with some of the precision skills, alignment, balancing, lubrication, contamination control, and so on. All very important to eliminate those sources of defects. Um, but you need to achieve buy-in, and that's a very important part of iLearn reliability. There's no way you can just do a bit of vibration analysis and improve contamination. And you know, those things will all help. But unless you get the buy-in from upper and middle management and the plant floor, the operators of the machines, the people working on the machines, unless there's buy-in, cooperation, everyone on the same page, you will always struggle to achieve the benefits that are really possible. And any work you do do will not be sustainable unless you get that buy-in. I Learn Reliability is designed to help you achieve that buy-in and therefore you have to train everyone and e-learning with no user controls as in there is no fee per user we've deliberately done it that way so that there is no restriction on you training everyone even contractors obviously new employees people who change position and so on it is important that everyone is trained um, and just on that point we have different modules for different types of people. There's the upper manager uh, manager briefings, there's the management training and I've got a few, couple of slides on this in a moment, the skills training and toolbox talks. It's not enough to just train reliability engineers and, and people really closely associated with this. Yep, they can go off to conferences and, and go off to courses and things. Just having that little pocket of expertise just doesn't cut it. You need to cover the whole spectrum. And you'll see this if you go in uh, into a trial of I Learn Reliability, but we've got lots of modules for the upper level managers, senior management, modules for the plant floor as we sort of summarize that group, M modules that explain what vibration analysis is and what condition monitoring is in general, why you need precision maintenance and so on. So these sorts of modules, they're not very long, you know, they're just short presentations. You can deliver them yourself, you just turn the narration down or use them as e-learning and track what everyone's uh, what everyone's seen and they can even take quizzes and so on. Then there's the detailed skills training courses and the uh, quite detailed modules from asset criticality rankings and maintenance practices, um, detailed summaries of the condition monitoring technologies and precision skills and so on. So lots in that region. Now, the good thing is you get to learn where you want and when you want. So we create a website just for you with your company name dot ilearnreliability.com. So all of your employees would go to that site and uh, gain access. Someone from your site would create user accounts for all of the people. You can just upload a spreadsheet if you like, but you can make it so that people just get access to individual modules and you can sort of drip free feed the training. We created, we, we've created 25 profiles in the system for typical positions within most industrial plants. So the easiest thing you can do is just say, well, for this person, they fit that profile. For that person fits that profile. Very easy to set up, but you can customize it to your heart's content. It is a full learning management system. You get to see who is going through the modules you've assigned to them, how quickly they're going through them, and how they're doing in the quizzes as well. So as I mentioned already, it's unrestricted. 
anyone can learn from your site if you buy a site license and it's only for people at your site um, but of course you can get multi-site licenses as well if that's applicable in your case but the I'll show you a couple of samples in just a moment but uh, you'll see there's animations and interactions and so on um, and there's always support when you need it the simplest is that there's an Ask Mobius forum within the system. You can speak to the developers of the system and, and experts in this uh, subject matter area. Um, you can ask questions about how to use it, but certainly ask application questions as well. We're there to help you. But there is also available you know, on-site startup training and mentoring both from Mobius but from partners that we have around the world who are well versed on the topic and well versed on iLearn reliability and they can provide that to give you a helping hand. The important part is that you are the ones driving it. Those consultants are there to help you be successful. So there are lots of uh, modules as we've described and as you can see from these little samples flying onto the screen um, they're very graphical there's lots of interaction in in various places it's all narrated there are quizzes as well and so on and I'll show you a couple of samples in in just a moment so you, you can see that um, so basically what happens is we create the site for you you come to this page which can be customized with your corporate logos and so on but each individual would just enter their username and password and they would end up at a page something like this now it depends on what they've been assigned at one extreme a reliability engineer might have access to absolutely everything on the other hand you can have it so that there's just one little course module there and they would go in and begin that course and when they're done you can assign them the next module that you'd like them to take so this is sort of what it looks like and I'll just bring in one that I've got open here so this one's on precision lubrication and contamination control and it's just a case of the moving through is critical to the health of rotating machinery there is probably no other single action that improves if you could travel down inside. So that's sort of what it looks like. Just some samples. I'll bring in another one here. There we go. This one's on th a little bit on thermography. And an as you've seen already, in heat is usually an indicator that if you notice that a bear as you've seen there's lots of topics high level low level very detailed training versus nice sort of overviews but some of them have nice little uh, simulators as well device. you know that, that just help to explain what's going on, on the I'm kind of talking over myself here readouts. if you turn the distance knob the radiometer will be moved away or closer so in this case you can drag the little spot radiometer you know see what the temperature read is at is see what happens when it moves further away and even sort of turn on thermal vision to see what you're really looking at and we can get into An infrared, infrared analysis as well and there's a little camera that you can click and drag around I'll just quickly flick through some of these slides Try it for yourself as you move the camera you can see the th so we can actually you know move a little camera around so there's lots of things inside I learn reliability that make it you know easy to understand and, and a bit more interesting to go through the training but thank you very much for taking this time to go through this presentation I hope it's given you a good overview of what it's for and how it works and you know, and what it looks like if you have any questions please um, write to either myself or just learn at mobiusinstitute.com or of course you can look at our website thank you very much for viewing this presentation